Hello everybody, this is Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. How are you doing? It is 12 and it has been a busy morning here. We had Brooks, uh, so Brooks spent the night here and he stayed till, well, just an hour ago. So I didn't have a lot of prep time, but I kind of know what, knew what I was going to do. But it's definitely going to be relaxing because I am going to show you how to color with Tombow markers as I learned it from um, Krista Snyder a long time ago in Canada. So um, it's, it's, of course, Tombow is, um, hi Michelle, hi Michelle, hi Belinda. Of course, Tombow is uh, water-based. So uh, if you have other water-based markers, you can just use this technique as well, I guess. Hi Robin, hi Wilma. Hi Connie. Oh my goodness, it was a busy morning. I was making tents. He found out that tents are fun. Sliederrecht. Hi Sandra. Hi Jane. So it's a very busy morning. So enjoying my coffee. Hi Angelique. Hi Lisa. So like, comment and share of course for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. Hi Sylvia. Riek. And um, before I forget to say Monday. Um, so this is my last live of course for the year. So before I forget to say uh, Happy New Year and a happy, healthy, creative, peace on earth, 2024, that would be nice. Uh, and on Monday, uh, Annette will kick off the new year. And you might have seen it already. Uh, Annette is organizing a class herself with the planners. So she's kind of going to show and tell you about that. So uh, make sure. Uh, hi, Yona. Uh, not to forget to tune in on Monday. I know a lot of people in the Netherlands might um, be visiting family or I know how it is with New Year's Day. But um, if you're done celebrating and, uh, you know, check out the, check out the uh, live on Monday. And otherwise, make sure to watch it back because uh, it will be fabulous, of course, when Annette is doing a live. And the rest I don't know yet of uh, next week, actually. Uh, I'm going to show you, uh, uh, Rihanna, I think she's, she, she, she just needs time. She needs time. I don't know if she's here, then she can speak for herself, but it just needs time. She needs to rest. So that's, that's uh, basically what should do the job. And um, so about the Tombow marker. So I just noticed that the, the information I had from Krista was from 2004. So I think that's, no, that's not how old my markers are. But they are 15 years old already, uh, for sure. Hi, Teresa. Nice to see you, So definitely 15 years old. So I found one that was not perfect anymore, but I dip it in the water and it still works. So it's uh, the, the Tombow markers are really, really good quality. So if you're thinking, if you don't have water-based markers yet, I think um, that's, that's the way to go. Marcella wants to join the live. I think that's... <laughs> Sometimes you uh, push on wrong buttons. Uh, that happens. Uh, so I am going to turn the camera around. So again, like, comment and share. You get a sneak peek from our first collection of 2024, which will be uh, the garden party from Angelica. And it comes with beautiful, beautiful pa uh, paper. So I am going into spring mode here. Still a little bit snow here outside, but um, this weekend I'm going to take the tree down. Uh, and then, um, yeah. Moving on to the next year. Moving on to the next year. Uh, so uh, let's turn the camera around. And then I am... Oh, that's this side. So I don't hold my finger in front of the camera. I always do. Turn it around. Here we go. I need to get Joseph over <laughs> to set up my camera. It never happens. It's just... Uh, my goodness. But this is also fine. Okay, there we are. Uh, find myself here on the iPad. There I am. No, that's not me. That's my announcements. So I need to refresh. And here I am. So I can see your comments. And um, yeah, so uh, what I did with... Uh, so Krista Snyder had a uh, form. It was Sunshine Designs. Krista also designed some um, stamps for us. Uh, I think there's still some leftovers, but not lots. And um, Krista, her coloring skills were amazing. I think she... Uh, Oh, sometimes I see something, maybe Carol still has some, I don't know. But um, her coloring skills were amazing. And uh, she was teaching at Paper Pastimes at the time. She lives in um, in Toronto. And um, she, uh, oops, she uh, taught classes there. 
she was teaching classes there and uh but she didn't want to travel that much she didn't like traveling that much so she asked me if i wanted to teach her classes at paid pastimes and i did that and i loved it so i learned a lot from her hi waldo nice to see you here Jean uh, and Peter, hi everybody. Thank you for tuning in. So what I'm going to do, so what Krista's um, idea was about coloring, but I'm going to do something else first because that needs to dry because I want to uh, stamp some flower centers at a few to kind of see how that's going to look. So I'm going to stamp those and I want these to be kind of be yellow or orangey. So I'm going to, instead of black, I'm going to use this color. And I'm going to stamp some flower uh, centers because those need to dry. And I think I will do this one. And uh, remember, when you are uh, when you love the flowers, this is not a new set, but there's flower centers. And I did write the numbers down from this flower. That is the 2085 Florals 25. Uh, but I did not write it down uh, the name down from the flower centers. But that's a set that will keep working with all the designs from... Um, um, oh, that's bright, bright. I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll see. Um, it's going to work with all the flowers from Angelica. And um, yeah, the flower centers are perfect. Honestly, they are perfect. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's nice and bright. Um, I should get a baby wipe. But I think it will look nice. Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> so happy that you all helped me out here. And Monday... Uh, there is not somebody from the office here because it's the 1st of January and then we are closed for shipping. Hi, Marga. And um, we're also working on, uh, I, I know, like the mason jar because we got a shipment from the Netherlands with uh, the sets in there. So I know if you're looking for the mason jar because I know a lot of people are looking for the tree. And, uh, oh, is this dirty? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> because it was black on there. But um, that one, you see this, this basically doesn't need a lot of color, but I'm still going to uh, use it. And I know that I can watercolor with these. So, and then the smallest one. Hi, Germain. Nice to see you. Goeie avond. Oh, this is also black. Wait, let me see first if I need to clean it. Clean it, clean it. Oh, I'm cleaning my stamp here. At, wait, just do a stamp here. But those flower centers, honestly, those, those stamps you want because they are absolutely fabulous and you can use them. And it also has uh, stamps for leaves. You can make really nice backgrounds for it. Thinking about it, New Year's Eve, like uh, if you need to make a New Year's card, wishing somebody a happy New Year, you can uh, stamp that and emboss it in gold embossing powder or something. And then you will have a beautiful, get rid of that, a beautiful... Um, New Year's, New Year's Eve uh, card. Can be a sunburst. Can be a lot of different things. Okay. There's a little fly here. Oh, the mason jar. It is in the US. It's back in stock. But I don't know. Don't we have anything in... Um... Yeah, mason jar is there. And uh, the camera is coming back. Because that was still there. We just had to make it into set. So, because we changed systems. We found some things that were... And don't start asking me about all kinds of other things. But the sets, <laughs> the sets I know are there. So I have this one. Then I uh, wanted to do something in blue. And I have no idea if I'm going to put it on something or that I just leave it as is. Okay, just making flowers and then uh, come back to it later. Do I want to have, um, I don't know if I need flower scents here. I don't know. I was, maybe, but let's start coloring first. And I had this one ready to go, because, but I'm not going to use this one now. But this is basically what everybody uses as a poinsettia now. But just remember, this can be any color. So don't put it in your Christmas stuff. Keep it out because you can use that. Oh, and people are also asking for the pine cone in Europe. That one is supposed to be delivered on the um, 2nd of January. So that one is coming back as well. Yeah, make a blue cornflower. Yeah, that's that's. that's I have the colors uh, ready for that one. Uh, yeah. So uh, let me do some leaves first. So what the principle from uh, Krista is or was is uh, you have kind of you use different colors. The the trick is not to um, not to kind of I always mention like kind of kill it uh, by blending it too much. And I'm going to show you how uh, I learned that. 
Hi Jeanette. Jeanette, I missed your birthday. I noticed yesterday and honestly, Facebook doesn't notify me anymore about birthdays, which is annoying. I try to change it and it doesn't do it. So I don't get emails anymore. I don't get notifications anymore, which is annoying because I always want to wish everybody a happy birthday. And that is not happening. So in the new collection, I am going to show you a sneak peek of for uh, the new year will be launched on January the 8th and the stores will be informed a week before we are so good but not allowed to post anything before the 8th but they will get an email about that <laughs> but um, so we're trying to kind of work ahead a little bit more so I as you saw oh this is watercolor paper I used I also made some flowers with um, Soft finish, but um, watercolor blends a little bit better. Although I had some great results with soft finish. So I just do the back, color that. And then I choose the lightest color first. Yeah, there might be some stores having that as well. Eh? And then I'm going in with my second color. Which is a darker one. And um, I need to check all the colors that are still available. I think that David, David got them. And then I told David, I said, David, I, said, I will... Uh, we were going to do a private session, but now he has a dog. So he has a new dog. So no, no private sessions anymore. So second color, and you can do more or less. And then I, because this is a really darker color, and then you're going to blend it. And you're going to blend it by just kind of pulling it up and pushing it back up. Because you don't want to kind of, if you just, well, depending on how much, how much color, but you don't want to make it as dark at the top as you make it at the bottom. Circular motion circular motion pull it up push it back you see because then you get the light kind of at the tips you see i can even go back here if i pull it up too much you can go back there uh tombow markers tombow markers and honestly i said i don't know about other markers because the, well i have sakura here i think they're still working but that's a li more limited um um coloring uh like what is it 48 maybe and i did not try those if those are still good but my tombo markers they are they are 15 years old and i did not test them all yet but um the ones i did get uh, except for one i think but it's um here if i so i want to have a little bit more color here so what you can do as well of course is just put a little bit there because if you put your marker down when it's still wet you see kind of get rid of the that's it. And then you see, I don't know if you see that, but you see some pilling there. That will all disappear. That will all disappear. And then I'm going in with a dark blue. And that's something I would have never done myself. And that's really, I learned that from uh, Krista. Because if you mix that with the green, you will get a nice kind of green color that is a darker color there. You see, so it just go in a little bit. And you can add it to the paper as well, but... Because it's such a dark color, and I'll show you that later with a dark brown as well, you kind of want to be careful. You see, that's that. So that one is done. And you can add, you, you can, of course, if you want to, I can add a little bit of the darker green more on the side. You can go back into leaves. So that is, um, that is really up to you. You see, I can go back here a little bit, add some, add a little bit of the dark blue at some points. You see, that gives you more shading. And always make sure that you kind of make sure you don't get, as I call it, watermarks. So you want to make sure that if I do that blue here, if I don't kind of go over the whole leaf again, you get a watermark. So you kind of need to go back into that part then. You see, and this will dry without those um, without those uh, pieces there. Now, if you want to shape it, of course, it's always better when it's wet. So you can shape it as is. And this one, if I want to shape it, I should basically... Because this is now dry and when paper has been wet, I should kind of wet it on the back a little bit. Just with a brush, with water, and then you can shape it. And I can kind of, we are working on a tool set. And if that's going to happen, it's going to be fabulous. But my spoon always works well as well. So then you can shape it and then you can kind of take your fingers a little bit and shape it. And then, but it shapes better when, especially watercolor paper, when it's dry, it's dry, you know, it stays in its shapes. 
I think colored cards are usually. Yeah, but then you don't get the shading, of course, that nice for florals. And uh, you see, so now you have that leaf there. And you can always go back. So if you think I want to have more color there or less color, because you can always watch it back. I forgot to shape to shape my vegetation. I miss what you said. Oh, Sharon, we're going to do a one scrapbook expo next year, which is Denver. Denver. They're coming back here. And um, since we reorganized the warehouse, we will have some great deals there at the show because it's um, we need to clean up some stuff. But you see, so you see the dimension there. So this one is still dry, but it will dry up the same as this one. It will dry up the same as this one. So that is the leaf. I'm going to do a smaller one for this as well. Where do I have that? I know I have it. Oh, here. Uh, just to make sure that I have different uh, variety. Oh, Jean, it's, it's, it's easy. You, well, you know, I have to say easy. You can make it as elaborate as you want to. So um, we're working on something. So if that works out, it's going to be fab, I think. But... Um, that will take a while. But um, flower shaping and um, with the next release from Angelica, so with that garden uh, garden party collection, you will see that you can make it as difficult or as easy. With a spoon. Oh, maybe it's with a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Should be, yeah? Should be. Because I love the spoon. I'm not just telling you that because I uh, we don't have a tool set now. It's just easy. Okay, so get here up a little bit. So you see, for, so for 13 year or 15 year old markers, these are still pretty pretty darn good. I have to say. And after babysitting Brooks yesterday and today. This is the best thing you can do. <laughs> Just sit down and color. There you go. You see, you can go here again to light up the tip if you want to. And a little bit of the dark blue. I could zoom in a little bit more. Eh? Let me... Uh, oops. Let's see. Yay. You see, it's with my table. Easy. No, no baby yet. No, 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 no. If, uh, if it stays where it is, it's going to be the fifth. Uh, <laughs> If everything, but you know, we'll see. We're joking because you said it's from the first. I said, let's not do the first, but hey, you never know. You never know. There, you see, so it's that one that can dry. Oh, and this one I can shape now. It's still a little bit wet. So let's shape that one. Yeah, but with shaping, um, yeah, I will. Uh, Angelica doesn't do lives yet. Uh, but I will. Um, I will definitely get more into it uh, in the next year because we are getting the most beautiful collections from Angelica. She has her next one done already as well. She is, she is a pro. She is working way ahead. So that paper with the next collection is actually printed already as well. See, that's that. And then this one is just clean. Let me shape it right away as well. Uh, this is still, oh yeah, that's fine. So, um, yeah, so we're trying to... Uh, oh, you have a whole Ziploc? Oh, really? I, I have a ton of uh, Tomo markers at the office because I did teach classes with it. So, uh, no, this is this is a watercolor paper. I uh, you you can use a soft finish as well, but watercolor paper just um, you know is easier. But I did make some florals with a uh, soft finish as well, but it's it it's hit or miss or it's kind of you know so watercolor paper you know is just you know it is what it is, but. Um, it is watercolor paper. You see how nice it is already? Oh, thank you, Marjolein. Well, the leaf, of course, is a shape from... Uh, so I just color. Oh, am I throwing all the flowers on the floor now? I don't think so. Okay, let me put this one here. Uh, will this be dry already? I think so. 
Let me start this one. And for this one, I had this color combination. So yellow, orange, and red. So let's see what it does. It, oh, I think I'm good. I don't know what it does now with... Oh, I should color the back first. And I'm doing coloring the back because of when you, when you shape it, you know, it might show up if you curl it a lot. So that the back has color as well. You're moving, uh, Anita, aren't you? Because you are moving back to the... To your... Um, other uh, to the cabin we would probably call it here because of the fireworks for the dog mm -hmm. I will do three and then start blending so this orange one was actually one that kind of yeah you see I don't know what it will do oh it's actually working again but it didn't work uh, well so what I did is I um, I dipped it, the tip in the water and then it started working again. And now that red, you see, and red is always a very, very st st uh, strong color. So I don't know what it's going to do with those veins there. So maybe I should have stamped them in black. I was thinking about that. You see, because now it doesn't show that much anymore. What if I only do the orange? Yeah, you see, that might be nicer with this. So just the orange and the yellow. But I, you know, I don't like it that much. I should have stamped it in black. So I'm just going to do the, the coloring. Oh, okay. So with the, um, with the green, I use these three. Uh, the 133 three as the first color, 098. And then 528 is the dark blue. So 133, three, 098 and 528. And let me try this first, if this works, it shoots, and then I'll tell you those colors. Maybe I do the red on the, oh, I didn't color the back of this one now. Oh, you see, it shows a little bit, so what I do, I dip it in the water, you see, and now it's good to go again. So that's the only one that I found so far that is a little bit um, kind of drier, but I need to check them all. Because I really want to start using those for the flowers again. Or the watercolors and then pick up a little bit of the red you see and that is because red is always and red you cannot take off anymore eh? that red is a very strong color and i like that better than uh, with the centers so i can stamp black centers later let me color this first before i forget so you can uh, color you can do some coloring while i'm doing this Kind of, uh, and I might just one put put one flower together. I have flower centers ready to go that I kind of colored already. Uh, the markers, I have them. You know, I actually have them standing up here. I'll show you my stands because I have them in here. This forever. This was a, an old Sakura mark. Well, I cannot show you that, but it's in a stand and they're standing up. They are standing up straight. Some some shimmer sheets in the front. They are standing up straight the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, they're standing up straight the whole time. So, um, yeah, I can't say anything else. They have been in that, in that stand for forever. New Year already? No, it's not New Year. It's not no year. Oh, I still have some red here. Oh, I need to get some. See, pull it up a bit, push it back down. Tombo reactive markers, you mean reactive? So when you so you can go back, uh, you mean when when you're done playing and you want to change something, you can. That's what they can do. So it's really a water-based marker. What does it, does it say anything? Acid-free. That's about it. It says. And they're from Japan. And uh, our watercolors are from Japan as well. And uh, Sakura is from Japan. Japan has really really good quality. Um, uh, 
coloring products. They're really kind of into that. Nice pigmented and just quality, quality, quality. Mm -hmm, I know. Yeah, it is uh, still 2023. Then circular motion, you can go up, but then go down again. You see? And this is so relaxing to do. So relaxing. And that's why I have been working with the new florals. And it was fun to do. Yeah, so Monday the 8th I will do the live myself and that will be with the new um, with the new flowers collection introducing. And then for the first time stores can have them online already. Which is great. I don't watch the comments. Never use. Oh, they they are they are fantastic. Yeah, no, absolutely, they are fantastic. Oh, going on here a little bit. Put that back. I think that will be nice. So let that to dry. Then I will do a larger one and a smaller one, and I can make a nice. So you see my spring colors there. I'm going into spring, into spring. We'll probably get a winter here first. And I'm, I'm hoping to get, uh, you know, to uh, make the people in the Netherlands get, get them a little, about, a little bit out of their uh, rainy depression uh, mood. Because my goodies, you had storm, you had rain. There is no end to it. And I watched... Uh, because I still watch the weather in the Netherlands. Um, it's not going to be any better this week. It is horrible. It is horrible. Okay, so backside first. Did you win something, Sandra? Thank you for the gift certificate. Did we screw up something or what, what did we do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I never know if I need to take Sandra serious. Hmm. Sandra, you created that yourself. <laughs> I don't know if I need to take you serious. <laughs> oh, there you won. Okay, I missed that. Was that you? Really? Well, you deserve it. You deserve it. I hope all is going well. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you a little story. So Sandra has, uh, she is undergoing treatment at the moment. And honestly, she postponed her treatment to come to the Banff retreat. She was the last one in when somebody else had to cancel. And she postponed her treatment to come to, uh, to Banff. So shout out to her. Uh, and Sandra, I'm wishing you a very happy and healthy 2024. And then, um, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, Rihanna, people, I don't know if you answered, Rihanna, people were asking how you were doing. I said, well, if Rihanna is here, she could answer herself. So, um. Pick up a little bit of the rest. Yeah, I don't know what Sandra told her uh, told her doctor why she postponed. If she said I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to bed for it, <laughs> she just say I'm not feeling well. I have no idea because she's a little bit naughty as well. So I don't know if she told the doctor the truth or not. <laughs> Exactly. 
they're healthy and I honestly it's the we should not forget the peace on earth these days because it is horrible out there horrible horrible yeah happy new year to everybody out there you see how this is so relaxing and then you put up a little bit of music or oh i i have a i have nl seat new so nl seats and so i can watch the dutch channels better than what i had before so i watched all you need is love while i was coloring so i was dripping tears on my paper no joking <laughs> but it was good i loved seeing it that's when they reunite people from other countries to be able to spend christmas together okay you color orange and red at the same time uh you know sylvia so i do two some you can sometimes you can do three but because uh, the red is such a strong color so you can absolutely do three but um because that red is such a strong color i like to mix it in later but normally you can do three colors for sure but it's just uh because when you when you don't do the reds well let me try it i will try it on a and it's the same uh like when you do the dark blue so the really dark color and let me try it here i will try it on this one because the red is going to disappear a little bit let me see you see because it's here you can see right away that it's way stronger and then it's harder to blend it you see yeah no i so definitely do it separate in this case you see it's not as nice as the other ones i will still pick up a little bit here kind of just make it a little bit darker now and that's with the dark blue and sometimes uh, krista mixed in uh, browns as well and uh, that's also something i always did a little bit later i should shape this already ba -ba -ba -ba. let me do a ball stylus with this one so it gets a little bit more to it oh that's harder because it's still wet is it harder when it's still wet it might be uh, spoon else spoon and i oh you know what i did with some wait i'll show you something um basically what you can do as well and this one is very suitable for that you just kind of do this that's what i did with some of the new florals as well thank you kathleen there we go and then you just unfold it i think i saw uh rihanna doing this uh, the first time i i don't think i ever did this and i know rihanna did it with uh one of the florals and then i thought really rihanna be careful but it worked out great you see that's yeah this one as well especially when it's still wet rihanna even did it so i kind of um <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you didn't mess up my flower. Not at all, because it's layers, so uh, it's fine. It's fine. We well, here, you know, that's what I love, eh? because if I mess up, you learn. I couldn't even do my nails. To, oh. My hands are looking horrible. <laughs> Hi, Monique, nice to see you here. So just really squeeze it. And I know uh, um, what Rihanna did, she really squeezed it, squeezed it. <laughs> I know. Wow, we have somebody with nice handwriting here. George, you're on that tall. Hello, everyone. I didn't even know you could do that. You see? How oh, nice. I have five. Okay, there we go. See? Shoop. And then I have a smaller one. Uh, but if you want to, I'm not doing that now, but if you want to, you can use this in here, eh? But this one has flower scents itself. Thank you. You see? You can do that. All kind of possibilities. All kind of possibilities. Still have been quite some pain and have been very ill the last few days. Uh, okay. Oh, Rihanna, I wish you the best. I wish you the best. I know um, Marga was ill during the Christmas. Uh, Esther has been ill. Her husband has been ill. David has been uh, a little bit sick for only a few days. There's so much going around. 
Am I still good? Oh, oh look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 else. I should have known that. Um, all the reason that I really need to chase a new background here. Okay, put this under here. Oh, that's annoying. A smaller piece, flat piece. Oh, you also had the flu? Yeah. Like the two-day one, uh, Sylvia. I know a lot of people had two days. Two days. And then it's gone. Like that's that's why we had Brooks, because the babysitter was sick. Yeah. No, uh, Terry, not at all. Oh, the brush. Oh, yes. Oh, for sure. Th I'm not showing that. Yes. I am absolutely. So I have a water bowl here. So I'm absolutely brushing my... Uh, Putting my uh, brush in the, yeah, and then I have a, oh yeah, and then I dip it here. You see, you see that, yeah. Muscle eggs, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my um, RSV shots because you can get that here, and that's just to protect the baby. So I got that done. It's a, there's so much going on. So much going on. Sonda, I did not know. So that must have been Esther then announcing that. So this I'm uh, just dipping in the water now a little bit. Because this is the only one I know so far that is a little bit. I will give you the numbers by the way in a second. It's a little bit drier, but I'm just reactivating it with the uh, water. And it, you see now it's working perfect again. That's picking up some reds here. I'm just going to do that here. And now which color am I going to do those flower centers? Am I going to do those in the red or am I going to do this? Hmm. That, squeeze that one, squeeze it, squeeze it, and with this one, because it's smaller, you need to be a little bit more careful, there we go, because so I don't, oi, 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 <laughs> that's fragile, fragile, here we go. No, this way. There we go. That's that. Third one. Now the flower centers. Do I do the big one and the small one? Or do I do two small ones? Maybe I do just one small one. Let me see if I do it in the reds. I'm just going to do... Maybe color it in the orange. Oh, you see now you see the orange is dull. It's dying on me here. Well, let me get another orange because that's fine for the centers. Um, but, 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 this is a stronger one. Let's see if this... Oh, that's a yellowish orange. No, that's not nice. That's not what I want. Test your colors first. I actually have a color chart as well. This would be helpful. What is this? Did I just have this one? Let me try. What is this? Hmm, it's actually... You know, I think it's actually fine. Because it's going to be red most of it. So... Oh, two more markers are fantastic. I know a lot of uh, Ingrid probably has them. Is Ingrid here? Ingrid probably has them for her calligraphy. Or was that Ingrid saying that? No, yeah. No, they're, they're perfect. I, I've never done anything else than coloring with it. Never done anything else. Okay, so I need to go uh, get that background printed somewhere. <laughs> there. And I'll pick up some of the reds. I'm not going to blend this because this is pretty wet already. So I'll just leave the tips a little bit in that kind of all the core. Oh, on my leaf. On my leaf. Oh, that's nice, I think. 
I can do some red on the back here as well because I'm going to kind of squeeze that as well. Okay. Now what's going to happen if I squeeze this one? Because it's fragile. I need to be careful. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do a little punch with uh, small ball styles here. And I might poke through later. Here. I'm so glad to see you use these markers. There are so many on the paper. Yeah. Uh, on TH Distress Mark. Oh, no, well, try those. Honestly, I and I, I told it before. I have, um, I love Tim Holtz. I love Ranger. But those markers were crap. Sorry. I, I, I've been, because I had a lot. And I did, I actually did teach some classes with that as well. But they, they are not this quality. Oh, yeah, exactly, Sylvia, yeah. Yeah. Are they still around? I don't even know if they're still around. They should not have those anymore. Because a ranger is known for quality, not for... Uh, okay, so if I'm going to make kind of a coarse size with it, I, I'm, I want to do the big one as well. Sorry, I'm just going to do that because... Um, which color did I use? This one, I think. No, this one. Oh, they discontinued? Yeah, they should They should have discontinued those. And honestly, I'm a big fan of Ranger, big fan of Tim Holtz. And um, love the inks, love everything about Ranger. But those markers were not the best. And I don't think that's a secret. It's just tell it as it is. I actually think I might have thrown them all out. Because at one point, I was sorting them out. And uh, then this color was not working anymore. Then that color wasn't working anymore. It's got kind of some stuff around the nip as well. Yeah, no, we're not good. But still a big fan of Ranger and Tim. And I don't know if they were Jap from Japan as well. Um, you see this is the dry one again you can clearly see it's getting a little bit less color but again we're talking 15 years here <laughs> what time are we? What time are we? Oh, almost finished. Okay, so I'm finishing this one. And then I am going to make that cornflower. I will write down the numbers for you. and then. So for this one, I'm actually using uh, 055 as the lightest, 925 as the orange, and then 856. Winston, you, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about uh, Winston Newton, Marcus. There's, there's absolutely, there will be. But honestly, you know, because Sakura, I, I expect the Sakura markers to still work as well. Let me try to pick up a few colors. You see? Perfect. There you go. And they, they are uh, several years old already as well. Perfect, you see? And because Sakura is also Japanese. And uh, they are just good with their, uh, with their quality. See? Perfect. So uh, the Koi marker, Sakura, I, don't ex I didn't expect anything else. Then those would be perfect as well. Because that's just... Uh, because it's a Japan, it's it's manufactured, uh, developed in in Japan, and I know for Sakura, for instance, their developing time is enormous. Being a sales rep for that company, you would think, oh, can we please put this on the market? And then no, need a longer testing period, and they did not bring it on the market before they knew it was good. I know I use so much, yeah, Belinda, but if you still have them, try them out. Try them out. I'm just doing everything now and then I'm going in with the red. I might do a little bit stronger red in this one. Because then it might show up at the bottom there. Because it's the bottom one. Might be fun. Thank you, Jennifer. 
Thank you. And be careful with fireworks, eh, everybody? Especially in the Netherlands. Here it's super quiet. It's strange because here they can sell fireworks all year round. I think, if I'm correct. And with uh, New Year's Eve, you hardly see any. Hardly, hardly. Which I actually do not mind. We did some when we lived on the mountain. But I'm not a huge... Although with two grandsons in a few years, uh, up at 12. I can see some... Uh, fireworks going, but... Just be very careful, because... I actually know somebody that blew out his eye with fireworks. And he was an international driver. And he had to give up his career for that because he was not allowed to do that with only one working eye. Where are my lids? Lids? Oh, on the back here. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, you know, that uh, you know you can do other things, good because there's all kind of ways, uh, you know, uh, you were talking about colored cardstock, and uh, then you can just etch it with distress ink, if that's the way to go for you, Femke. That, that's all, you know, that's all personal. Everybody can do whatever you want. I just find coloring very relaxing, and that's why I, that's why I use the watercolors, that's why I use these now. It's just, you know, it's just, for me, it's a... Uh, you know, just a relaxing thing to do. And this is not art or anything. It's just sit down and color. Maybe put your mind on zero for a second. Yeah? And just color. Oh, I did that already. I forgot this one. I think. There we go. That's that. Squeeze this one. Stamping up one of my... Oh, okay. Yes, I have no idea about stamping up markers. No idea about the quality or... No idea. Because I did not try those. No. Putting the camera up is nice, but not with those hands. Yeah, just try what you have, of course. Yeah. Because if it's, qual it's good quality, it will still work. <laughs> and then what you can do as well, and uh, of course you can still shape those a bit more if you want to kind of... Um, Turn some edges or turn some tips from this. You see, you can take a, this, just roll it around a bit if you want to have some edges turning up different ways. So there's all kind of ways to kind of shape. What's that? Uh, I hate loud. Yeah, loud bangs, I really, really, I, I, I don't see any. Uh, I think that should be, that should be forbidden. I don't see any uh, joy in that for nobody except for, well, a certain age of <laughs> boys, I guess, or men. Men that never grow up, that still like the bangs. Sorry if I insult somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's not working. No, let's get my, I have my glue gun still here. Wait. Let's see if I leave it. I I haven't used it in the last few days. Let's get it out. So no, there's no been no tip on this for a few days now. Oh no 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 no! You see, so now I need to poke that one as well. Let me see. Do I have a needle that fits it there? If my eyes can. No, that's not working. That is not working. Okay, so I need to get this working again with another needle. I figured that one out for sure. Because I have a thin needle somewhere. I'm just going to kind of get this unplugged. And I never close this one as well. I just put my needle in. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Just stack these. 
It doesn't it look like spring? Are we in a spring mood now? It's actually sunny outside here. I see the neighbor walking the dog. That dog always wants to sniff on our grass because especially when he knows the dogs are here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, so this one, this one is existing. This is number, it's this one. And I use the leaves from that as well. It's a great set. It, this is number 2085, Florals 25. So that was from the first release from Angelica. And if you like the older ones from before Angelica, they will be discontinued. So um, if you want those, and you st can still get them. Get them now. Because those will not come back. This one. Just hold it like this. And stick it in the center. Uh, one is more than enough on this one. And I still, sometimes I still want to put a flower center in there. So I'm just pressing this now. But it might be too fragile for that. What I might do, just put some black prills in the center. There you go. That's that. Then I have this one. What I'm going to do for this, I'm going to use the, um, the Kitsch Choice glue. Because that will kind of stick better. Rain, rain, I know. I know, Marge. It's been horrible. And I call my mom every day and say, oh, how is the weather today? Well... Same as yesterday, same as the day before, same as the day before, and same as the day before. So it's really, really depressing. You know, I do want some black in there, so I am, well, I can do that in a second. You see, and then you can just put this in a car, on a card. Oh, I should not forget sneak peek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would almost forget that. There you go. A little one. Just here, and then we'll get some prills. Uh, I also have some flower scents ready. So there are my prills. I know I have them here somewhere. Yeah, just some black ones. Excellently rainy. Oh, <laughs> rainy Arizona. You're probably happy with rainy Arizona. But it is, um, and I also made these ones, but I uh, I think, so these are just thin ones that I call it black and then put put them in, tip them in, in gold. So that's also something, if I don't know what I'm doing, I am uh, just playing with stuff. Just play, it's not a joke, we just play. This is, no, there's not new flower. No, I did not use new flowers yet. I will show you something with the new flowers in a bit. Come on, come on, Sava. And it is come see, come see, come sir, because this is not working. I need to clean, put them in warm water, kind of. Uh... There we go. It's not really a lot. So let me use my other trombone, this one. Let's see if this one works. It has a bigger tip. It does. Okay. But this is not from the gun. So just a blob, but it dries clear. So that's good. That's the most important part. Because I think it's nice. Oh, yeah, the UK. Yeah, the UK is, of course, very well known for rain. So this is not dry yet. So I need to hold it a bit together. Peep, 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 peep. Oh, sorry. So what I do, I just sprinkle it in there and just pour it back out. And that I can put back. Then I take a little tip, kind of to mush it in there. You see, that's just a finishing touch. You can do stamen. You can do... Uh, no, that's enough. It just gives it a little kind of extra. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but he doesn't live her anymore, eh? But I, I think he's in sunnier places with uh, paying less tax. 
<laughs> he is not in the Netherlands anymore. <laughs> uh, I think. I think. I don't know for sure. Okay, so that's that. And, um, okay, get this out of the way. Oh, and I did mention the numbers, so that's all covered. So let me get this out of So the new collection from um, Angelica will be released uh, on the 8th of January. Stores can have them online already by then, because they will get the information earlier. Okay, let's get everything out of the way. So that's an existing one. So what we will get is we will get yes, we will get beautiful, beautiful paper. We get beautiful, beautiful dies. We get beautiful, beautiful stamps. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me show you this one. This is one of the cards I created. Look at that. Look at that frame. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those extras, the leaves. It will be a beautiful, beautiful collection. And it will come with beautiful, beautiful paper. I know. And um, well, we're really excited as she lost a little girl nine years ago. Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I missed something. Somebody's very happy. That's good. Okay, so look at this. Look at this paper. Look at that paper. And then it will have another kind of more plain on the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this one. So this is designed by Angelica. And the flowers that are coming with that release are matching... Uh, the paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It is really, really pretty. So one side will have florals on there. And the other side will be uh, more plain. It is really, really color color scheme is amazing. You see? Really, really pretty. So that will be for the 8th of January. I made a little envelope already, which I was going. So that's... Uh, because I wanted to remind you that the Lost in the Woods uh, from David is back in stock in the U.S. as well. So if you want that, order it from your uh, local store. Or you can order it online, but that is available as well. So this is nothing else than just that gorgeous, gorgeous paper. How is that? Here, I made this one. Like, I have been playing. I have been playing. Also Tombow. So I've just been playing with the Tombow markers. Absolutely love it. So it's going to be a great, great collection. So, uh, you know, because it is uh, the last one for the year, I'm going to say a proper goodbye to you. Just turn this around. Oh, wait, turn this around. That was my agenda there. My beautiful leather agenda. Okay, so um, I want to wish you all a um, happy, healthy and creative uh 2024 and um again peace on earth would be wonderful and um i'll see you um probably next wednesday i don't know for, for sure but monday don't forget monday because monday annette will be here and she will show you her, what she's going to do in the classes and work in the planner as well so uh thank you very much and uh i'll see you in 2024 bye bye